Hello everyone, my name is Kaylee, this is The Tea House, and you are here for day seven, the final day of filling my freezer with freezer meals to uh, try to get prepared and um, ready for the newest arrival to the family. Um, today we are going to be focusing on bacon. <laughs> we are going to be making a um, breakfast casserole that has bacon, eggs, and hash browns in it as well as a carbonara pie, which uh, has uh, spaghetti, alfredo sauce, and bacon. So let's turn you around and get started. I've already done a bit of prep work in this big bowl. I have uh, six to eight cups of shredded hash browns. I have one pound of bacon that has been cooked and diced. I have salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Um, those are measurements to taste. I did about a teaspoon of each. To this, we are going to be adding about two cups of sour cream uh, or until it is all thoroughly coated. So I have my big Costco container of sour cream. Well, it's probably about a cup. And we'll do one more for good measure. And then we will get a spatula and get this mixed. I have transferred that mixed potato uh, mixture into a uh, foil pan here. Next step, we are going to top this with our favorite salsa. I just have some of this Kirkland uh, organic medium salsa. And I'm going to use about a cup. You can use as much or as little as you like. I just don't want to open another container. And last but not least, well, not last, <laughs> next, I have 12 eggs. Uh, in here that I have beaten. We are going to pour this over top as evenly as possible. And now, last but not least, as long as that is pretty even, I'm going to give it a quick little smush with the back of the fork. And we are going to top this with both cheddar cheese, which I have here. This is the raw milk cheddar that I got from Azure Standard that I grated myself. There we go. So that's about, I don't know, a cup, maybe, maybe a little less. And the final ingredient uh, is some pepper jack cheese. Uh, I have slices. This is one of my husband's favorite. Uh, I just got a big pack from Costco. And a little bit of overlap. It's not a big deal. The more cheese, the merrier, right? And we have our finished breakfast casserole. Cooking instructions for this uh, is going to be uh, to thaw in the refrigerator overnight. And then in the morning, 350 uh, covered with foil uh, for about 30 minutes and then remove the foil and cook an additional 20 to 30 minutes until it is bubbly and hot. I did get this recipe 
um, and adapted it from the Freezer Meals cookbook, which I will have linked below. carbonara pie. I have a large stock pot here with salted water coming to a boil. This is going to be to cook my pasta. In this large bowl, I have salt, which just fell over, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. So I have this all mixed up. It's roughly a teaspoon of each Again, I don't really measure these things. I just know that I like flavorful food and flavor comes from spices. To this big bowl, we are going to add four um, eggs and approximately one cup of Parmesan cheese. to try to have long pasta spaghetti linguine fettuccine for this recipe if you don't have it it's not a big deal but I think it turns out better um, and you are gonna cook this one minute less than the cooking instructions state next thing to go into the bowl is one pound of cooked and chopped up bacon And final ingredient besides the pasta uh, is going to be a large container of Alfredo sauce. I chose to not make my own, um, so this is approximately three cups. Um, I think this will be fine uh, if I need to add a little more. <laughs> if I need to add a little more sauce, um, I can always add a little bit of milk or heavy cream to this. We are all done adding ingredients. Now we are just waiting for our pasta to cook. Once the pasta is done, I'm going to drain it and uh, spray it with cold water to stop the cooking process and get it added to the cream sauce bacon mi mixture. Uh, at that point, I'm going to divide it into two pie pans. I'm using glass pie pans. You're welcome to use um, disposable pie pans. This is just what I have. And then get it covered and put in the freezer. Cooking instructions for this guy, uh, you're gonna want to thaw overnight and cook at 350 for 40 to 50 minutes or until it is nice and bubbly. You do also wanna make sure that when you are covering this, before you cover it, you wanna make sure that it is completely cool.
the recipes that I shared today are from this cookbook. Seriously good freezer meals. Uh, I have it linked down in the uh, comments or in the notes below. Uh, feel free to check it out. I really, really love this cookbook because it allows me to take a pretty basic recipe and make it something that is perfect for my family. Um, she is very light on spices, which is something that we tend to go pretty heavy on. Uh, and um, she allows for quite a bit of adaption to her recipes. Highly, highly recommend this cookbook. Last but certainly not least, you are now in my garage, which is where we have our freezers. I wanted to share with you just how much we have put in the freezer over the span of, well, it's technically two weeks, uh, because I did have that week uh, where we were getting siding on the house um, that I was cooking and putting things in the freezer, uh, mostly chicken recipes, um, but I didn't get any of those videoed because the sound would just be absolutely horrendous. So I'm going to uh, spin you around and show you just how full this freezer is. So obviously not everything in here is homemade, which is totally fine. Uh, we do use this freezer for various other things, um, holding um, obviously broccoli and um, some pie crusts that we got on sale uh, and some butter and some ice cream. So uh, up here I did uh, end up making our breakfast sandwiches. Uh, this is egg, those... Uh, maple breakfast uh, sausages, cheese, and an English muffin. Uh, I have the majority of them here, and then I also have a small bag over here because I just couldn't fit it in there. Behind here, I have some hot Italian sandwiches. Uh, this has turkey, ham, salami, pepperoni, and cheese. Uh, and then I ran out of turkey, so <laughs> some of them are labeled just H because they don't have turkey. Um, those are wrapped and ready to go. And some croissants. And here I have some Amish friendship bread starter. These are all of the muffins that I made, some taco meat and some meatballs. This is also um, cut up peppers and onions for fajitas. Over here is all the cheese that we got put away. Mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, uh, cheddar cheese down here. I have my salmon packs here. I have some brown gravy that I froze from a recipe that we made. Here are the meatballs. Uh, I have shredded zucchini here, some easy um, meals. Uh, this is just uh, pineapple, but um, some pot stickers. And then easy meals, uh, that is some coconut shrimp that my husband requested. Uh, I have all of our biscuits here. Those are our pizza packs. And then here, so I have uh, the crust for the chicken pot pies, which there's one there and there's one there. And then all of this, um, I have tomato basil soup, uh, marinara sauce, some chili. Um, I have some lentil soup and some other things that um, I didn't necessarily show you. So uh, that is pretty much it. We are going to put our bacon, potato, egg, cheese, casserole right there. I'm actually thinking of We'll move the shrimp to get that more level. Uh, and then when the carbonara pies are completely uh, cooled, they will go in here as well. So this is our freezer. We are definitely prepped and ready to go. Oh, and down here, I just have fruits and vegetables um, that are from Costco. So green beans, uh, asparagus, mixed fruit, some more broccoli. Uh, that's all that's down in there. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for staying along for the entire week long journey of getting this freezer filled with enough food for uh, our family to not have to eat out um, and eat bad food when I am recovering from um, the newest arrival of baby boy. Uh, he is just about one month away so I am glad that I have finished all of this prep. If you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing. Uh, the thumbs up button as well as comments make a huge difference for this channel, uh, but I just appreciate uh, everyone coming to watch and giving me the feedback. If you would like to stay tuned, I know that I have a, an Azure Standard haul coming up shortly, and then we also did order an entire cow 
an entire cow. Oh my goodness. Um, it's actually going to be divided between our family and uh, four additional families. But if you would like to see how much meat comes off an entire cow, uh, please leave me a comment and I can definitely, fingers crossed, get that videoed for you. Um, we are supposed to be getting it just a couple days um, after my due date. So that all kind of depends on uh, when baby boy arrives, but I'm hoping to get that videoed and show you uh, just how sustainable that is in terms of buying your meat in bulk and where that money goes for uh, feeding your family. So it's not just steaks and it's not just ground beef. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.